Okay, guys, today we're going to be talking about how to do the Fanswolf D15 color blindness test, also known as the arrangement test. While the Isihara color blindness test will tell you you have some color blindness, it does not tell you the severity or type of color blindness. Whereas the Fanswolf D15 color blindness test will tell you the severity and type of color blindness. So you've got three common types of color blindness. You've got the Dutan, also known as red green color blindness, and people with Dutan, about 6% of the population, have a reduced sensitivity to green cones, which means that you struggle to differentiate between shades of red and green. Then you've got the Protan, another type of red green color blindness, where you have a reduced sensitivity to red cones, so also you struggle to differentiate between shades of red and green. Then the third common type of color blindness is the triton. Now triton affects both males and females equally and people who are triton color blindness have a reduced sensitivity to blue light which means you struggle between shades of blue and green as well as yellow and red. And the triton color blindness is also known as blue yellow color blindness. So the Fanswolf D15 test can differentiate between the proton, deuton and triton color blindness as well as tell you the severity of your color blindness. So in the next clip, I'm going to be doing a live demonstration of the Fanswolf D15 color blindness test. So here we're about to do the Fanswolf D15 color blind test. Here are the colored discs. And remember with the Fanswolf D15 test, I am not allowed to get more than two errors. If I've got more than two errors on the Fanswolf D15 test, then this means I've got a type of color blindness. So here we go. Now, to make sure that I'm not cheating, I'm just going to take this out and I'm just gonna swap them about, okay? So we take this all out, swap them about, so I do not remember the sequence. Yep, there we go. Are you happy? Have I swapped them fairly? Now, here is my reference point. The blue color disc here is always my reference point. So I've got 15 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's why it's called the D15 test, also known as the arrangement test. So now I have to find the disc that's closest to this in color. Not as easy as it seems. So let's go for this. Um, what's next? Let's try this one. Hmm, what should I go for next? Let's try this. Okay, next, let's try this one. It's getting greener and greener, isn't it? I think I struggle with green colors because I call blue beans green and my wife tells me I'm wrong. I think this is next, then this one's next. This looks out of color, so that should be next. Then this is next. Hmm, it's getting harder and harder. So which one of these ones? I think I'll go for that one. Then I would go for this one. Am I getting it right, guys? We'll see. That one's next. Now I've got three more to play with. They look so similar, don't they? That's not fair, look at that. How am I gonna tell which one's next? I think that's next. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So look at that guys, do you think that's correct? Let's find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the box because the numbers are at the bottom. Then I'm going to now open the box. I've closed that one. So, yay, let's see if I got it right. That's the reference point, that doesn't move. There we go, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15. Looks like I got my sequence right, which means I'm not colorblind. Usually you need more than two errors on this Fansworth D15 colorblindness test to have some type of colorblindness deficiency. As I said, there are three types of common blindness deficiency, which are your proturn, your deuterns, and your tritons. So basically, I've passed the test. And I'm going to show you there's a scoring chart which starts from the reference point of 0 to 15, where you basically plot all these numbers across the scoring chart. And like I've said, if you cross any of the lines across the center, then you do have some type of color blindness. So whether you're doing the fans of D15 live or online, if you fail the test, as in you have more than two error points, get it checked out with a professional. So now I'm going to show you an example of how to plot the chart on the Fansworth D15 color blindness using the score chart. So for normal, you start from the reference point and then you can then draw the lines across in line with the numbers on the chips. As you can see in this example, five has been mixed with six. So instead of five, they've had six and instead of six, they've had five. But however, it's still within the line. So it would be classed as normal, because if you remember, you can have not more than two errors on the Fans of D15 test. So this is one error and it's not crossing these lines, which is the proton, deuton and triton. If you cross any of these lines, then you have color deficiency blindness and a number of crossings will tell you if it's mild, moderate or severe, or some would say mild, medium or severe. Now, if we look at figure two, near normal or mild deuton, this is because it does not have more than two errors. So this is one error, as you can see, one has been mixed with 15. So rather than plot one to two, they put 15 where two should be. So you've got one, 15, then you now have two, three. Then rather than go to four, they now have 14. So that's two errors there. And it's parallel with deuton because they have to be parallel. So that's parallel with deuton. That makes it mild deuton because it's not more than two errors that's been plotted. If we go down to figure three, this is now where it becomes more severe. This is medium deuton. So the line is going across to three, then rather than go to four, it goes down to 14, then it goes to 13, then back up to four. So that's two errors there already. And then you've got another third error there. So that's more than two errors already, which makes it medium deuton. Figure four is a strong deuton. I mean, this is so obvious. None of these lines have been plotted from 1 down to 9. It's totally missed. You know, 15 has been replaced with 2. You know, 14 to 3. There's just so many major crossings like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At least 7 crossings there. Strong do turn. You know, severe color blindness. And similar with these ones. This is a strong proton. You can see these, again, the lines are parallel of proton. Again, look at the plotting of the line. Couldn't even plot 7 to 12 because of the crossovers. Look at the crossings there. All crossing the chart. Strong proton. And then triton. Look at that. There's an error there. 3, 4, 5. Then you're going to 6 and 7. 7 is now going to 15 rather than going to 8 then 15 back to eight, then you got nine, not going to 10, 12 is mixed with 10. So again, Triton, you can see the lines are running parallel there. That's Triton, so yellow, blue. So this is an example of how to plot the chart with the Fansworth D15 color blindness test from normal and how to identify the severity of your type of color blindness going from normal to mild to medium to severe or strong. Hope you enjoy this video.